How you doing out there, Helix fans? This is a new uh, newsletter coming out. Uh, I guess July 2018, and we got lots to tell you uh, in this this news uh, newsletter. Uh, first off, we have a new uh, Universal L mode. Now, a couple years ago, Universal bought um, Capital EMI, so they bought all the uh, master recordings that uh, the groups on Capital EMI have recorded during that period. Um, and um, of course, we were on Capital EMI, so Universal ended up buying our uh, <clears throat> the albums we recorded uh, for Capital from 1983 to about 1989. Anyway, uh, they put together a best of album called the Icon series, and there it is right there. Um, and it's got Rock You, Heavy Metal Love, Dirty Dog, Giving Good Love and Deep Cuts the Knife, All the Streets, Kids Are All Shaking, Good the Lost Drop, Running Well in the 21st Century, and even Jesus wasn't loved in his hometown, and Gene Simmons' was Rock is Dead. Uh, it's a great album. Uh, you can buy it through the Helix website. We also have um, Bastard of the Blues coming out on vinyl, uh, and we're working on getting the Christmas album with two new tracks released as well. Uh, it'll probably just be called the uh, um, Helix Christmas album. So we got those uh, pieces of vinyl coming out as well. Now, uh, dates. Uh, so uh, coming up, we're playing in Red Deer on July the 19th at the uh, uh, fair. Um, look at my book here. We fly out in the morning. This is for uh, uh, Westerner Days, I believe it's called. Um, and we're on at uh, 9.45 to 10.45 at night. And playing with Lee Aaron, I believe. So come on out, that'll be a great show. Um, then on, uh, let me see. So we're flying out to Red Deer in the morning. Uh, to, actually, we're flying to Calgary. Then we got to drive to Red Deer, uh, sound check, play the show, uh, go to the hotel, sh shave and shower for the show. After the show, um, we're going to probably be uh, hanging out and. Uh, Next day on the Friday, take a long leisurely drive to uh, Calgary and fly back home. Um, the very next day, Linda and I will be flying to Halifax. Uh, we get in on the uh, Saturday night uh, late. And then the next day, uh, we're going to go out and uh, see Halifax. Maybe go to uh, supper with Rob Wells and his wife. Uh, Rob, as you know, it plays Ricky and the Trailer Park Boys. And then hopefully on the Tuesday, we're going to do a swear net. Uh, which is the uh, Trailer Park Boys um, internet show. Uh, then when I, we fly back on the Friday uh, from uh, Halifax and uh, I immediately turn around and drive up to uh, Montreal to play uh, Heavy Metal Montreal. And um, anyway, so uh, then uh, about three days later we're in uh, Friday, August the 3rd. We're in Minnedosa, which is north of Brandon, Manitoba. And that's where the whole walk of bands once again. And uh, then our next date after that is uh, in Little Current, Ontario, which is up on Manitoulin Island. And uh, we're driving up to Sudbury the day before, staying uh, in Sudbury for the night. Uh, the day of the show, we're getting up bright and early and driving uh, to Little Current and uh, playing. And then we're driving back to Sudbury. And the next morning at 6 a.m., we fly out of Sudbury uh, by way of Toronto to Edmonton. Uh, and we play about two hours after we get off the plane in Edmonton at the... 8th Annual Edmonton Rock Music Festival, and that's at the Heritage Amphitheater in Haverlock Park, Edmonton. And then uh, a week later, uh, they fly out, uh, actually not quite a week, uh, the next Friday they fly out to, uh, the band flies out to Calgary, and Randy and I are going to meet them there, and then uh, drive from there to uh, play the fair in Lethbridge the next day, and that's at Exhibition Park. And that's on Saturday, August the 25th. And um, we've had a long history with Lethbridge. We used to play there at the uh, Alec Arms. 
and um, we just used to do crowds from the from the first time we ever played there, and it was always a joy coming back to Lethbridge. So that's basically our summer for for dates. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to a few people this week too. Um, first off, I'd like to thank Neil Fenske and the guys from Emerson Drive uh, for having us uh, at the show uh, when they came to London here the other day. Uh, also to uh, Tim Hicks. Uh, and there's a little video attached to this of when we went out for uh, brunch uh, with Tim and his wife and uh, his uh, two small children. Um, uh, big thank you to Tim Hicks. He's always uh, uh, mentioned me in his uh, uh, talks whenever he's on the radio uh, because he was a, a vocal student of mine. And um, uh, anyway, Tim Hicks holds a special place in my heart, and uh, he has a new album out uh, called New Tattoo. And uh, hopefully you go out and support him. He's a great guy. Uh, you know, I've known him personally for many years, and uh, you can meet a sweeter guy. So go out and pick up his new album and support a great Canadian talent. Uh, lastly, I'd like to, actually a couple of uh, um, people I'd still like to thank. I'd like to thank uh, Dee Snyder and Lita Ford for signing a uh, guitar for me once again for charity. I do this through Dave Southern here in London, Ontario, and we raised thousands of dollars over the year for the Cancer Hospital and the Aeolian Hall, the uh, uh, music teaching course down there. And lastly, I'd like to thank uh, David Lavallee, who uh, runs the um, uh, kind of like a, a school of rock with Long, in conjunction with Long McQuaid up in Kingston. I stopped there last week on the way up to Ottawa and um, uh, I talked did a talk in Bel Canto and, and just the band and the music business in general and, and David had me up and um, uh, it, that was a very nice afternoon treating me very well so thank you to all those people. Uh, lastly, writing. Uh, we're trying to write for the next uh, Helix album, whatever that may be. <clears throat> and uh, we got the story of Helix being recorded by Daryl at the Doghouse Studios up in St. Catharines uh, and he's just finished uh, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer which is for the Helix Christmas album uh, that we're going to be putting on vinyl. And um, uh, Daryl recorded uh, that song, basically traced it from the live recording we did in the uh, live show back in 2012, I believe it was. And um, the Christmas album is going to be coming out once again in vinyl. And uh, it's going to have uh, All I Want for Christmas is the Leafs to Win the Cup. Uh, and I must uh, add here that it was great that they signed uh, John Tavares. Uh, too bad uh, Van Riemsdyk left though. Uh, I loved loved uh, James Van Riemsdyk. He's a great player. Uh, and um, also we got Grandma runs uh, got Grandma got run over by reindeer on the album too. So uh, that's going to be a good package when it comes out. So that's what we're working on right now. And uh, lots of dates coming up. The next couple of weeks is going to be uh, just a blur. And um, I want to remind everybody to, to get as many people as you can to sign up for the newsletter. Uh, there's no better way to spread the word and keep Canadian classic rock alive. You know. So anyway, that's it for this month's newsletter. And uh, I want to thank you for your support. Keep the mail coming in. We answer all the email uh, that you send us. And we take your questions seriously and try, always try to get back to you. Uh, so don't be square. See you around. Catch you on the flip side. This is Brian Vollmer. Over and out.